Hey there Scorpio, welcome to your reading. So this is going to be good for your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign. Do check the other signs in terms of your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign of this as well. If you're seeing this as it's uploaded, your last 10 days of August. If you're seeing this at a later date, take it for a 10 days next 10 days reading. It's timeless, energy is linear and that's my focus. Um, that it reaches you when you're needing to see it. If you subscribe, you'll get notified of all your content, subscribers, and the videos that get the most likes, views, and comments also get additional bonus messages. Now, there's also intuitive reads on the channel, and there's also, obviously, if you want a personalized reading or any of my services, everything's always in the description box below in terms of information. Scorpio, I'm getting the color purple for you. And as I say purple, I get corrected. Violet. Violet. Okay. Half the deck just uh, fell from me. So I'm going to shuffle. Get you two cards. Let's see what we're going, what we're doing. Scorpio placements, please. Spirit guides. Scorpio placements, please. Spirit guides. Scorpio, please. Spirit guides. victim quest okay so your destiny is calling you scorpio are you getting nudges in a certain direction is something really speaking to your intuition in your heart um, victim could be where you have been looking at something and you're like, I'm not moving forward on this destiny that I want to actually move forward on. It's kind of like choosing not to be a victim and choosing to do what you're doing um, and know that the universe is with you and not against you. So I would say with these two cards... Is there something you're in denial about that you need to take action on to move forward? Do you need to maybe sit with yourself? Maybe if the Hermit card came out, I won't be surprised or something that I would tie in with these two cards to really kind of reflect on whether you're holding yourself back. Do you need to reflect on your situation, something in life? And are you willing to take choices to move forward towards your destiny in the... You, I feel like the universe is nudging you with this card, but you might be feeling blocked or blaming others, or there might be a little bit of resentment. And obviously that is due to feeling disempowered. It could be due to chapters in our life that have made us feel that way. That's half the time, half the battle of life actually, isn't it? It's what we've experienced that kind of puts us in this kind of energy. And with the trail, it's really about with the darkness of the unknown, it allows you to discover your truth. And you need to be a bit brave and face, have the ability to face that as well. So I think those two cards really tie in with each other. Interesting. Let's get into your tarot. Can I have Scorpio placements, please, spirit guides? Scorpio placements. One card has come out, I keep shuffling for another. Scorpio placement, oh, ten of cups. I think you've had the ten of cups a couple of times recently, haven't you? Right. Got three cards. First card that came out, seven of wands, all right. Then you've got the Seven of Cups, which I think is your destiny that you're wanting to move to. Seven of Cups. We're tying in here with this, right? Seven of Wands, you have had to feel vulnerable because you've been going at something. You've been competing at something. Really trying, trying to balance where you've been feeling vulnerable. There's a challenge you've needed to ground yourself as well. And there's the Ten of Cups, your ultimate joyful, abundant happiness, everything that you want in life that makes your heart sing. It's basically 
soulmates as well it's divine connections it's your family your heart is opening there's a wholeness around your life like everything i've wanted it's my wish fulfillment and then the seven of cups tells me that you're kind of like a bit delusioned or living in a bit of fantasy about something um where you need to not where you need to move forward but you're not really sure how to or you can't see the full picture and you're not able i think you've got multiple choices and something and you're not really sure how to go that multiple choices could actually be multiple beliefs as well i'm getting and it's kind of making you feel this stagnant not moving forward fear to take the risk okay um this is also about where you felt like you needed to protect yourself in some situation um but really it's about movement and growth you know the seven is about movement and growth it's about self-expression having the confidence okay we've got two sevens here which is very interesting very big message on having the confidence when i see it with these two cards let's keep going this could be in any area of your life something that you're very passionate about something that speaks to your heart i also feel it's like something that you've been actually been really really wanting card has turned over hierophant could be a job it could be a marriage situation it could be again it's about changing your beliefs around something page of swords it, yeah like i said it could be around something you've been researching a job opportunity i feel like some of you are actually going to get a communication if you've been looking for a job i think you're going to get this job but you're going to be also i'm getting something about you might feel like should i go for something i've done in the past or should i go for what i've been working at trying to achieve which might need a bit of a risk-taking um venture so it could be between two careers or a journey or a path ace of pentacles definitely around your money finance and career here but it's abundance and then here we've got libra the justice card a karmic scale of balance libra energy so you could have in general you can have a libra around you it could be someone you live with there's justice here with this card and it's an 11 card as well so i'd look out for the number 11 11 but this is about law of attraction it's about balance it's about with every cause there's effect um there's about the, it's about your perspective of things it's about if you take that risk maybe actually with that cause of taking the risk you take that you end up in the abundance and look at that i i split the deck i got the page of pentacles which i've just lost as well i don't know how i just lost it i split the deck it was the page of pentacles which means an offer coming through to you you know a solid offer coming through to you scorpio this could also be around if you're in a job and you've been waiting to hear back on something it could be that the karmic scales of justice are coming back through to you i mean some of you if you've had a legal case as well that karmic balance is coming through um i'm just also getting something about insurance medical insurance queen of wands it helps you feel passionate it ignites a spark in you this tells you that if you join in a new job or if you're in a job I feel like there's going to be a karmic balance where you feel more supported in your job you might have felt that you've been the only one that's working hard in this job um really putting all your energy into it and everyone else is like you're this tree and everyone is like a seed and you're like i've worked really hard on this how much longer do i have to work yeah uh hard to see the fruition of a new job offer coming in to see where I'm actually going, what's alignment. There's a bit of a risk that you're needing to take on something. Um, but it's interesting, we've got the violet here, which tells me this is the energy you're moving into. Queen of Wands is very, is fire. Aries, Leo is sad, but what does it actually mean? It means that the energy you're stepping into is, is um, something that you're very passionate about. You're gonna have that spark ignited in you creativity determination and you're going to have the confidence as well which was key 
um, and bold expression and as you do that you're going to feel like you're powered you are power you could be stepping into more of a team lead or a management role with, with these cards coming up as well something you've worked really hard on I feel there's also some kind of recognition here. Like I said, this could be something you've actually worked hard on with a team in terms of a legal matter as well, or a matter that you've needed to come into, into hand, which has also made you maybe feel a bit like a victim or some resentment. Final card for Scorpio, please. Four of Cups. Yeah, you've been feeling bored, unsatisfied, dissatisfied, demotivated um, around this area in your life, okay? Um, but the Queen of Wands is coming in and changes that momentum for you. I think what really changes the momentum is the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles and Page of Swords that is that um, that is here. Uh, Page of Pentacles is what I saw as a job offer, some communication that comes in. Um, don't miss opportunities because this is what maybe you feel like when you're in this energy. You might be feeling like, you know, what's the point? And you miss opportunities because you can't see clearly. Um, being frustrated and not appreciating what you have. Um, you Or you feel very stuck somewhere in your life. And that's led you to boredom as well. Um, I look at, at the bottom of the deck and it was the sun card. So the success, the renewal, very much tying into this. Um, I feel that there could be a partnership on the horizon for you as well. Um, however, that translates into a, a partnership across work, a partnership, a collaboration or a partnership of love. I feel this is very much um, about you, about taking a risk of a, possibly something you've been contemplating a, a, a while on and your money, career and finance, something around your stability as well. Okay, um, so I'm going to actually pull you a, two soul messages from the universe, see what we get, because I think this will also help us know further about these particular areas that seem to be significant in this 10 days of your life. Some guidance on the attitude or how beliefs maybe we need, the energy you might need. Two messages for Scorpio, please, Spirit. One. Yes. I knew that was going to come out. My happiness is direct reflection of the level of the faith in my universe. I knew it was going to come out because of the Four of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. I am unapologetic about what I desire. I trust that I will focus on what I and trust that I, what I focus on will grow. Let's say that again. I'm unapologetic about what I desire. And I trust what I focus on will grow. That's the risk, you know, where you've been feeling stuck. So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you in your next reading. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.